Welcome to this next in the series of EMC Data Protection Advisor version 6 videos covering the use of the Discovery Wizard. And in this case we shall be discovering EMC Avamar. As always, this video should be viewed in conjunction with the full documentation available at the link shown. Before commencing Discovery, please ensure that you have the correct licenses installed. These are installed through the Admin System Manage Licenses tab. While no additional software such as an Avamar administrative client need be installed, the DPA agents must not be installed on the Avamar object. Data collection of Avamar must be performed through a remote or proxy agent installed on a third party server. Additionally, the remote or proxy agent must be installed on a server in the same time zone as the Avamar server or object. By default, DPA connects directly to the Avamar MCDB database on port 5555. However, if for any reason these have been modified on your systems, the Avamar configuration, job monitor and status request options may be edited through the inventory object library, selecting the object, data collection tab. Similarly, DPA connects to the Avamar database using the view user account. Again, if on your system this has been modified or the user does not have permission to log into the database, you may edit the default Avamar credential in the DPA UI. This is achieved through the Admin System Manage Credentials tab. And finally, please make sure that you have access to the resolvable hostname and or IP address of the Avamar server. So let's now see the Discovery Wizard in action. So let's go straight away to the Admin System tab and select Run Discovery Wizard. Our first task is to discover an object and in this instance we shall select a backup application. We shall check the EMC Avamar box. You may enter the fully qualified domain name, host name or indeed IP address for the new host to be discovered we shall enter the IP address. You may also add any aliases by which this server is known. The operating system is pre-populated as Linux and we can click Next. As we already know for monitoring Avamar we must install a DPA agent on a remote or proxy host. Avamar being installed on Linux any requirement for host monitoring using DPA requires a DPA agent to be installed on the host. So we'll skip this section. Under the data collection agent, we'll select the remote data collection agent's radio button. And from the drop down, we'll select an already installed DPA agent, which has visibility of the Avamar server. In this instance, we can accept the default Avamar credentials as provided or select an alternate if required. At this point, although not mandatory, you may test connectivity with the host using the supplied credentials. Again, we can skip this. By default, all discovered objects are placed in the configuration group of the inventory, Avamar being placed in the servers backup servers subgroup. If you wish at this stage, using the button Add Destination Group, define the placement of the Avamar object discovered. At this point, one or more custom attributes appropriate to the object being discovered will be presented. You may configure these now or later, and in this instance, we'll do a basic discovery and skip this step. A summary screen is then presented, covering the selections we have made, and we can click Finish. And our discovery is now complete and we can discover further objects if available or we can close the wizard. So our discovery is now complete. All we need to do now is to go to our inventory, to our group management, to check the inclusion of the Avamar server in the inventory. We can see that expanding out groups, configuration, backup servers, EMC Avamar we find our newly discovered Avamar server. And expanding further, we can drill down to see our backup clients. 
So let's now very quickly run our first report against our newly discovered server by right clicking on the server and selecting to run a report. Our scope has been taken as the server selected. We can select our report template, in this case data protection, jobs, all jobs. And we'll take a predefined time period of the last week. We shall run this in a new tab and opening the tab our report is presented. In this video we have covered the basic use of the DPA discovery wizard to discover an EMC Avamar object. Thank you for watching.